Hello YouTubers, this is Cessna Ace, back again with another video. I have several things to touch on in this video. First of all, I have a new sound card for computer here, courtesy of my brother Paul. This is currently not installed, but it will be soon. I just got it. Now he says it's not a gift, but a loner. It's not as good as the sound card that is in his computer. I don't know that I could ever afford one as nice as what he has, but it's much nicer than what I have now. This is what I have, which I'm going to install as soon as I download a driver because the disk that comes with this the driver supports Windows XP and Windows Vista only neither of which I am no longer using we have Windows 7 in this computer so I'm going to have to download a driver so that I could take advantage of this card which has a lot of cool features for example one he didn't touch on but it has um, vocal cancellation. If you're playing music CDs or music that you've downloaded or whatever, it will remove the vocals so that you can do karaoke. Also has uh, a 10 band equalizer and a lot of other cool things. So I'm looking forward to installing this. Now you may have noticed that the quality of the picture has improved. You should have. We were limited before by not the computer, but the landline coming into the house. Our speed was restricted to 1.5 Mbps. Even though we have high-speed DSL, at a slow. Even videos we would watch on YouTube backed all the way down to a resolution of 144 would have to buffer sometimes. Now we watch videos at the highest setting, HD setting, no buffering. We've gone from as I said, 1.5 to 18 Mbps. So that should help with the picture, and it might even help with the sound that you get uh, on your end. We'll have to wait and see on that one. But uh, with this sound card, I'm probably going to be switching to an external uh, microphone setup as opposed to the two built-in microphones of my web camera because uh, I can never afford the microphone setup that uh, my brother has. He has seven microphones hooked up to his. He's got mixers and equalizers and everything all over the place and specialized controllers. But anyway, Another thing I want to touch on is, yes, I am going to finish showing my NES game collection. But something I've touched on in the past recently is, what system am I going to cover next? Sticking, well, Sega Master System or Atari 2600. And yes, I know this is a 4-switch, but it is a VCS and not a 2600, although same thing. But I had a uh, heavy 6-switch console, and I gave that to Gamer Jitsu along with a ton of extras. That's around the same time I 
gave her a Sega Master System. Not one from my collection, but I bought one on eBay and I had it shipped directly to her. And around that same time, Luke Morse won sent her a um, PC Engine, which is something I'm wanting to get one of these days, although what I want to get ahead of it is a working Atari Jaguar uh, CD-ROM drive. My Jaguar still works fine, but I have never been able to find a working CD-ROM drive, and I've heard all kinds of horror stories about people who buy them purportedly working and then they get them and they don't work. One of the problems uh, that crops up is that they'll sometimes spin backwards. But I'm um, working on that. But I think what I've settled on is this. This box is empty because the system is currently hooked up. I was thinking probably go with this system because uh, I have a high percentage of the games released for it in their original boxes. And also I have homebrews for this system. Now, of course, most people know that there were two sound chips involved with the 7800. Well, there was the Gumby chip, but that one was canceled. But it has the re original, it was called Tia chip. It was in this, so that it could be fully backwards compatible with the huge library of 2600 games. Uh, but they also wanted to take advantage of the vastly superior Pokey chip in the 5200. For this system, they corrected a lot of the deficiencies of the 5200, but the hardware inside the case for the video uh, for both the 7800 and to make it compatible with the 2600 took up so much room on the motherboard that there was no room for the Pokey chip. So, Atari's solution was developers or publishers could put the pokey chip inside the cartridge and the system would up, would detect it if it was there. There were only two games released back in the day uh, that supported the pokey chip. I mean for the 7800 and not the 5200. The pokey chip by the way was also used in arcade machines. It was a very advanced uh, chip. Those games that uh, supported the Pokey chip for the 7800 were Commando and Ball Blazer. Ball Blazer, I believe, uh, the Pokey chip uh, is used for music and uh, sound effects. Whereas with Commando, I believe it uses the Pokey chip for music and the Tia chip for sound effects. Anyway, this is a really cool system, although I need to get a pair of the PAL controllers because the ProLine controllers, as Atari called them, for the 7800, or as we gamers call them, pain line, because you use them for any length of time and your hand hurts. But in Europe they got a traditional game pad like you would see on an NES or a Sega Master System along those lines. Much nicer. So I'm looking to get one, uh, a pair of those uh, as soon as I can. I have so many things that I want to get. Anyway, I think I'm going with this. I am going with this. The game library that I have for the Atari 7800. I have 
most of the game is pictured. I wonder what that sticker is there. I bought this. It was brand new. It has since had some water damage to the box. The unit itself is in beautiful condition, pristine, and still works fine. But we had a flood here years ago, and this uh, sustained some water damage. But uh, anyway, I had uh, bought this from a uh, outlet mall. Uh, they had found a, a lot of them in storage in Mexico. They didn't know they were there. The story I got from the uh, owner of the store was that the uh, warehouse was slated for demolition and they found a bunch of Atari stuff in storage there. Uh, 7800s, uh, games for the 7800, games for the 2600, and so for $80 I got a boxed system, 20 boxed games, and 20 boxed for the 2600. So 20 for the 2600 and 20 for the 7800. I didn't make that clear originally. It's 4 in the morning. Uh, so, I had 40 boxed games for this and the system for $80. Had I known what I discovered the next day, I would have bought two of those because uh, a friend of mine also, she got one of these bundles and she got some different games so they all weren't the same but I went down there and they my wife had said she had been down there the day before and they were stacked to the ceiling but she didn't know if I wanted one well I sure did so I drove down there the next day and they were about less than halfway up to the ceiling I went the next day to buy a second bundle and they were gone, sold out. As the old expression goes, you snooze, you lose, and you can tell that I'm tired because I am rambling. But. So I'm going with next, uh, after I finish covering games for the NES. Until next time, stay awesome. This is currently not installed, but it will be soon. I just got it. Now he says it's not a gift, but a loaner. It's not as good as the sound card that is in his computer. Install and as soon as I download a driver. Because the disk that comes with this the driver supports Windows XP and Windows Vista only. Neither of which I am no longer using. We have Windows 7 in this computer, so I'm going to have to download a driver so that I could take advantage of this cart, which has a lot of cool features. I don't know that I could ever afford one as nice as what he has, but it's much nicer than what I have now. This is what I have. Which I'm going to... Hello YouTubers, this is Cessna Ace back again with another video. I have several things to touch on in this video. First of all, I have a new sound card for computer here, courtesy of my brother Paul.